In this video, we're going to discuss exponential function applications, doubling period, and half-life. Doubling period is when something doubles over time, and we use the following formula to represent it. In this uh, formula, d is the doubling time, or time it takes for the initial amount to double, t is the time given, 2 is the rate so doubling, AO is the original amount and A is the final amount. Half-life is how long it takes the initial amount of something to decay to half of its original size. So H represents the time it takes to get to half of the original size. T is the time given, one half is the rate, AO is the initial amount, A is the final amount. So this is doubling period. And this is half-life. Let's look at how we use these formulas to solve a variety of word problems. A colony of bacteria doubles in size every 20 minutes. How long will it take for a colony of 10 bacteria to grow to a population of 20,000 bacteria? This is doubling period. So we know that the colony doubles in size every 20 minutes. And we know the initial amount of bacteria and the final amount. We're going to try to find out how long it takes for that amount to grow to the final size. We use the formula for the doubling period. A equals AO 2 to the power of T over D. Let's determine what we know. So we know the doubling period and the doubling period is 20 minutes. We also know the initial amount, AO and AO is 10 bacteria. We know the final amount, A, 20,000. And our goal is to determine the time it takes. Let's substitute the values into the formula. 20,000 equals 10 times two to the power of T, over 20. Next, we need to first divide both sides by 10. And we end up with 2000 equals 2 to the power of t over 20. Now, if you have not studied logarithms, you will have to estimate what power does 2 need to be raised to in order to get 2,000. This will be trial and error on your calculator. So try to find out how many times 2 needs to be multiplied by itself in order to get to 2,000. If I keep trying, I will get the exponent that's closest to the value of 2000 being 10.966. So I can say that two to the power of 10.966 is equal to 2000 approximately. And then this value then represents all of this expression. So since I have found a value that kind of gives me an approximate 2000, I can now just take the exponents and solve for t in terms of the exponents only. So then I can say that t over 20 is equal to 10.966. Then from here, T will equal 10.966 times 20. 
Therefore, T equals 219.32 minutes. Let's convert that into hours and minutes. So it will take approximately three hours and 40 minutes for the colony to rise from, to grow from 10 bacteria to 20,000 bacteria. Caffeine has a half-life of about five hours. If a cup of coffee contains 200 milligrams of caffeine, how much caffeine will be remaining in your bloodstream in three and a half hours? So the amount of caffeine is decreasing and we have the time it takes for the original amount to go to half of the initial amount. So we're gonna use the half-life formula to solve this problem. A equals AO one over two T over H. So we know H, H is five. We also know the original amount, AO, 200 milligrams. And we also know the time that we're looking at, three and a half hours. And we're trying to determine the final amount after three and a half hours. So A equals 200, one over two, 3.5, over five. First, divide the exponent, then raise one half to the power of what you find, and then multiply by 200 at the end. So there should be approximately 123 milligrams of caffeine remaining in your bloodstream after three and a half hours. Remember that it's always important to include the therefore statement, answer the question that was specifically asked by the problem, and not forget the units of the final answer. Therefore, there will be 123 milligrams of caffeine remaining.